Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Shorzy! And this is the new spin-off series from Letter Kenny, featuring Jared Kiso's other character, Shorzy! And this time around, you actually see Shorzy's face because Jared Kiso isn't just playing Wayne anymore. He gets to be Shorzy in the show in all of his glory without wearing just a wig and hiding his face the whole entire time. And, you know, this is one of those kinds of things where it's just like, is it smart to take a minor character and do a spin-off of? And honestly, this is a pretty successful one. I have to say right off the bat, this is a hilarious show. Like, this is legitimately hilarious all the way through. And what they wind up doing with this character is take him to a AAA hockey team and try to bring this team around and bring its spirit back. And here's the thing. You add depth to Shorzy. Shorzy cries. Shorzy has this need to not lose and to bring this team back to glory. It's like he's driven. He isn't just throwing a whole bunch of insults around all the time, which he certainly does too. And there's wonderful moments in this series of him officiating and him leaning up against like the wall and just throwing them around to people. And it's just absolutely fantastic. And I laugh so many times watching these six episodes. And you don't lose that. But then you gain so much more with this character. And the other elements, like uh, Tasia Tellis, who plays Nat, who owns this team, I really enjoyed her being a part of this. I thought she was a really good character. And you have Harlem Blaine... Kutway Hat, who plays one of the, he's like Shorzy's right hand kind of character in this. And you have this fantastic crew of crazy hockey players that he puts together for this team. Now, this could have been just straightforward, like, you know, your standard um, underdog hockey story, but they do some really good storytelling here between Kisu's writing, and you have Jacob Tierney who is a Letter Kenny alum as well, doing the directing, and even gets to be one of the announcers here. I love how they introduce this series as, like, a hockey talk s panel. And you're like, what's this have to do with this show? And somehow they find their way around to talking about Shorzy, and you're just like, oh my god. And it was a perfect way of setting this up. There's drama, there's great use of music, the slow-mo, every th like all the great directing and filmmaking and storytelling elements that you get in Letterkenny, they bring some of those things over and do some new things as well. I do have to say, like, I still love Letterkenny more because, like, it's Letterkenny and there's so many more characters that I feel attached to and I find more interesting. I didn't feel as connected to as many of these characters as I thought I would, and I was hoping to like Letter Kenny. But you know, it's still the first season, but this is still a hilarious ride. There's genuine emotion. Like the last episode of this season hits, and it's just like, dang, I really love that. And the way that it ends is not like your standard kind of this is your underdog hockey story or sports story. It fits these characters, it fits the narrative, and it makes sense to these characters uniquely and still delivers a satisfying finale. And in general, this is a moving and fun journey and just an absolute blast. I love this show and I can't wait for more. But those are my thoughts on the first season of Shorzy. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.